Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to configure your grab menu or also called boot menu which appears at the start of your computer. At least sometimes, especially if you installed multiple operating systems on your computer. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to easily configure it in terms of countdown length, whether it should be displayed or not, also size and which entry should be booted automatically. I would say let's start with it. I'm doing this with an easy tool which is called Linux Assistant which is a daily Linux helper with powerful integrated search routines checks and also some administrative tasks like this one. So for example for Linux Mint you can just go to linux-assistant.org head over to download.deb after the deb file is downloaded we can just click on it then our installer opens i click on install package type in my password this takes a moment and after it our installer displays same version is already installed which is in our case completely okay it's just a weird display bug i would say now we can close everything and open up our linux assistant which welcomes us if you want to know more about the Linux Assistant, I have done a video about this. I put you the link to it into the video description. I am going forward here very fast. So is our recognized system correct? This one looks good. I select yes. Open Linux Assistant faster is for me okay. But time to set up your computer. I am skipping the initial setup just to get forward really fast that we can get to our grub configuration. Here after our help page was displayed we come to a search in here I can search for grub configuration. Please have a note that this is only available in the newest version. If you have installed the flat pack at the moment this doesn't have this functionality. So make sure you have a version 0.5.2 or higher. You can just search for version and see the version of Linux Assistant. I'm going in with the grub configuration in here. I am selecting this one and here we now have our configuration and this is very easy. We can select whether we want to display the boot menu or we don't want to display the boot menu. Please have in mind that if we want to display the boot menu the time until automatic start should be higher than zero because if we type it in like this one then our boot menu will never appear or appear very shortly because the timer starts immediately our default entry or the last booted entry. So if you want to disable the automatic timer then you can go in with minus one then the automatic start will never happen. So it always waits for user interaction. I personally recommend you to make the boot menu visible and display it for three seconds. This isn't too long but if you want you can change how Linux starts or also of course select another operating system on your computer if you want to start that instead. You can also enable a large font. This is very helpful if you have for example a 4K monitor and also start the last booted entry then the grub menu reminds which entry you have booted the last time as the default boot entry until you boot another boot entry. Then this one is the new default one. So I personally recommend you a setting like this one or if you want to get a bit faster to business then I recommend you the automatic start in one second and if you don't want to see the black white text you can also hide the boot menu then you can press the right shift key or the escape key to get the boot menu visible again for that particular start. So my personal recommendation is enable the boot menu and set it to three seconds then you have done everything right. If you want it fast and clean then go with these settings. In the end we just click save then we are requested our administrator password. Linux assistant is doing some magic. If you want to see what the magic behind is you can have a look into the log for example. Here you can see which commands are executed. We are just editing the etc default grub file 
and in the end we update our grub and this was it. If you want to have a closer look what these variables are doing exactly, check out the Gentoo wiki on this. They have a grub configuration variable site which explains these all very briefly. But please keep in mind if you are changing this file by your own your system may become unbootable. Yeah. This was it for this video. In the last step, let's check out if everything worked. Let's restart our computer. And here we see a countdown with three seconds. I cancel it by typing in, for example, the arrow down key, then the automatic countdown is canceled. And here we can see, yeah, our boot menu is just looking fine. And I can boot the entry which I want. In this case, it's very easy. I want Linux Mint. Just a small hint, if you have problems with your actual kernel situation and your system won't boot at the time, head over to advanced options and try the third or fourth entry. This is an older kernel version. So if you have something like driver problems, just try these out. But we can also get back with escape and boot our default entry, which is in our case Linux Mint. That was it for this video. If you want to know how to create an encrypted partition afterwards in your Linux Mint installation, for example, click on the displayed video in the end card. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye.